a hi. We're going to talk a little bit about brushing your animal. Um, we like to use a rubber scrubber for in the backcountry and then a brush that's a little bit stiff. It's not really hard or stiff or, or going to hurt them, but it's got a little more background bone to it than just a soft, uh, soft brush. The reason we use the rubber scrubber is if you happen to hit a scab uh, that they might have someplace, this is less likely to take it off. If you're using a metal curry comb and you come across a scab that maybe you don't see or something, you're brushing them down and it's a new cut and they've scabbed over, you're going to rip that scab right off. And with this, you're less likely to do that. But yet it gives you a little bit of something. If you have some stubborn dirt someplace that you need to get to, it gives you a little bit more uh, rubbing ability to get to it. We like to tie ours together for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is it keeps them together when you're in the back country. You can hang it in a tree or hang it on a box or whatever. You can even hang it on, you can run it through a D on a pack saddle and just run them back through themselves and hang it right there so it's handy when you get to wherever you're going. But what we do is I'll start with the brush and then I'll follow with the rubber scrubber. And I'm going to usually keep both hands on the animal all the time. And as I'm going, I'm feeling for bumps, bruises, scrapes. I'm looking for things like scabs, anything that might cause them some discomfort. So as we're going through, I'm going to be watching them. And as you see, by me keeping contact with them, they know exactly where I'm at all the time. And if you give it a little flip as you come up, it kicks that dirt out in the way. And again, your most critical areas that you're looking for is going to be across their backs, across their ribs, where the cinch goes underneath. That's one place that you in particular want to be careful with and feeling for. Any bumps, bruises, uh, any signs of any injury. And I'll often take my hand and rub it through there as well, just to make sure everything's okay. 